Well, the role of public health and rabies for health units across the province of Ontario is to prevent humans from being exposed to the rabies virus. And we do that in a number of ways. We have a rabies awareness uh, program. Uh, May is actually Rabies Awareness Month where we do different promotions to advise the public what the rabies virus is all about and how they can prevent themselves from being exposed. And secondly, and probably more importantly, we investigate all reported animal bites to uh, ensure that uh, animals are, are properly quarantined. Uh, it's a confinement by the owner for a 10-day period to ensure that the, uh, the animal is rabies-free. Uh, and in the event that it's a stray animal or a, um, a wildlife, we uh, work with the health care provider to ensure that the, uh, the uh, person that has been bitten receives rabies prophylaxis to protect themselves from uh, the rabies virus. Well, certainly I'd like to commend the Ministry of Natural Resources for that program. I think it's been great in uh, reducing exposure for uh, uh, domestic cats and dogs. But of course, that has to be uh, done in, in collaboration with uh, uh, vaccinations to ensure that the uh, uh, pets are properly vaccinated against rabies. But also in the Niagara region, uh, the Ministry of Natural Resources has prevented raccoon rabies from coming into Niagara on the southern part of Ontario through their trap vaccinate release program. So it, it's been a real bonus to have both of these programs uh, in operation to reduce the risk of uh, uh, rabies uh, to pets and then on to humans. Well, I think the most important thing that the public can do is to, if you are an owner of a cat and dog to make sure that it's properly vaccinated and uh, in accordance with uh, the vaccine of your, um, of your veterinarian. And uh, also to ensure that uh, the public is not exposed to, uh, to uh, uh, pets or to, not to pets, sorry, but to, uh, to wildlife. Uh, observe wildlife from a distance. And if you come across a diseased or, or a dead animal, please do not touch it. Ensure that you contact the appropriate people to, uh, to deal with that. I think the program, as I mentioned, has been excellent. What I would like the, uh, the listeners to know is that when public health departments across Ontario investigate animal bites, we're not here to, uh, to confiscate people's animal. We're here to work with the pet owner to, that that dog is properly confined for a 10-day observation period to ensure that it's free of rabies. So to prevent you or your family from being exposed to rabies, it's very important that if you do have a cat or a dog to have it properly uh, vaccinated against rabies. It's also important that if you come across a, a, a stray animal to, to leave it alone and call for professional help to deal with that. And if you are out in the, in the country and you observe wildlife, please observe it from afar. Don't uh, try to feed uh, a stray raccoon or any of the wildlife, just uh, observe it from a distance.